Hey guys, it's Wanda and welcome to our pineapple forest. I'm here in this greenhouse that's off the back side of our um, barn to show you a product we got from Vivor, V-E-V-O-R. It is a stainless steel um, sprayer. So Danny needed these pineapples taken care of and so today I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to show you what I'm doing in order to um, add fertilizer to the pineapples here in the pineapple forest. First off, we're going to be putting some miracle Grow in here because pineapples need fertilization just like anything else. And I'm going to put some in here. And then we're going to fill it with water. And this is Danny's rain catchment system. It catches water from the gutter on the outside and fills this barrel up. And then we can use it. I can turn it on here and water all the plants individually. He has a system run around where it puts water directly at the plants when I turn it on. And when I turn it off, it stops. And we have rain catchment for that purpose. So we're using rain water today with our Miracle Grow liquid plant stuff. And the flow is awesome when it's full. We've had a lot of rain lately. We have the water and the Miracle Grow in there. We're going to be putting this piece back in. And there's only one way it fits in, and then you tighten it. Let's see if it's tight. Yes. And you should be able to pick it up by it. It shouldn't um, come loose. Then you loosen this, and you pump. Now, it has a gauge here, and it tells you how much to get up to. It also says if you don't pay any attention to the gauge, to pump about 40 times. And so, you want it up to, I think it's the 40 on here, and I'm getting close. When you get it up to the pressure, you want to push this in and lock it. And that way, it should, let's see, we got to release this. Oh, yeah. So... And what we're going to do, as you see the nozzle, when I spray it, it sprays out a fine mist. We're going to be misting all through here because the pineapples like to feed from the top. The leaves are made where they catch um, rain and water. And so we're going to fertilize them from the top in the fields it says if they go through and spray they're fertilized up from the top down the sprayer comes with a pretty long hose and in here that's all I would need I could just walk through and spray and tote it and it doesn't matter and I'm spraying even the little ones back here that Danny's got in pots We hope to get the rest of them um, in pots before long. I am not spraying the pineapple that we have back here. I'm spraying beside it. And this one, the leaves are just all going up through here. We have a couple of pineapples, I think, growing now. We've harvested three or four already. And we've got probably 10 or 12 that need um, potting. So Danny's going to be potting these things. He potted several. I'll show you in the back back here. But that's all there is to it. You just walk through and spray. The sprayer also has this on it so that you can put it on your shoulder and tote it. And it takes the weight off your arm. So that's a plus. It has a place here 
for you to put the uh, hose in and hang it. Um, you can adjust from a fine mist down here. Um, the pressure, when, once you've used it, you have to let the pressure off so that it doesn't stay with the pressure built up so it lasts longer. It comes with more rubber um, O-rings and the gaskets and things like that that might would wear out. Now I have miracle Grow in here. Now I have miracle Grow in here and this is stainless. Um, it's a liquid miracle Grow. I used a powder but it turns into liquid so it shouldn't ruin the, the um, O-rings and stuff like that. But I'm going to let the pressure off so that it will last longer. Um, Danny and I will probably leave it in here because this is where we will need it. If we need miracle Grow sprayed anywhere in the gardens, all we got to do are our greenhouses is pick this up and go. It's amazing. It's great. I've went through so many cheap uh, plastic sprayers. They just end up after four or five uses, they don't spray. So we're going to use this one as our miracle Grow. And I would suggest if you're going to use it for chemicals of any kind, that the sprayer is only used for that chemical. Do not swap it back and forth using miracle Grow and a chemical because you're going to get a chemical on your plant. Just uh, designate it for one thing. Don't use it for a lot. And um, once this is out, I could put water in here because the miracle Grow is not going to hurt if it gets on something. I'm spraying water on something. It'll just help it grow. But I would not put chemicals in mine because I don't want to spray my plants accidentally. The Vivor... Um, it's called an automatic pressure sprayer. It's going to be great for in here. I'm going to let the pressure off. Let me see how do I do that. Okay. There we go. It makes that quick sound like that when you let the pressure off. And uh, guys, they sent me one to give away. What do you think? You want a stainless steel automatic, this, what is it called, auto pressure sprayer from Vivor. I'm going to send this to somebody. In the comments, mention what you would do with one of these um, pressure sprayers that is stainless steel, how it would help your homestead, and uh, we'll pick a winner in two or three days and send it to you. There's going to be a link in the description below if you're interested in a Vivor automatic pressure sprayer guys it's going to make our life easier in here because i need to spray these at least every couple of weeks and i can walk in here it's already made up all i got to do is pump it back up and start spraying this is going to be a great addition for the greenhouse these are the new ones danny just potted and fixed look at the aloes we got aloe babies everywhere too and the four o'clock, she just can't hardly kill them. They love it in here. And this is our newest little pineapple. It is growing. It's going to have a stubby top. It's not growing like the others did, so I'm not sure. Uh, different pineapples, different ways of growing. We found some have long tops, some have short tops. Danny planted another small one in here and took the big one out. He will be working with these shortly on this side to get the babies out and the older ones you can see babies all in there. That's where our pineapple came there. And then you see babies under here. Babies starting to come out. So he will be working with the big ones and swapping around. See at the babies? I'm talking three or four under there. Here, another aloe and moringa. We've got moringa in here. Uh, growing really well. Another aloe back in the back. Look at this. Just a mass of pineapples in this one that has to be worked. Um, when I say pineapple forest, I mean forest. And then we have some sitting down here. We have three in pots that we did this past spring that are growing like crazy that need to be up potted. And another smaller one he put here plus the moringa. We've got to get the moringa outside this next spring he has about five in this pot ready to be potted and I have one or two outside that we just harvested that's growing roots 
that are in a pot with water. So I think Danny's got his work cut out for him. What do you think? How do y'all like our pineapple forest? So guys, I hope you enjoyed a little bit about the pineapple forest and what we got going on in here. Thank you from Deep South Homestead.